And Sandra and Steve, that is a storm that's winding up and will be affecting us within the next 24 hours with two rounds of snow. All of it combined to give us a winter weather advisory for Detroit and all of southeast Michigan starting tonight. For all day Monday, it does not expire until noon on Tuesday. Let's take a look out. Take a look outside right now with Storm Tracker 4. Nothing much falling from the sky just yet. Cloudy skies. Certainly, it is frigid with temperatures in the teens and 20s right now. 22 over at Metro Airport. But there's the storm that Sandra and Steve were just referencing, wreaking havoc in the center portion of the country with snow and ice all the way as far south as the Houston area, also in Louisiana and Mississippi with wintry weather. And look at. All these alerts. We have our own winter weather advisory. Nearly half the country, by geography and by population, over half the country under some sort of alert because of cold and or snow. Absolutely astounding. And we'll see our first snowflakes arrive after midnight tonight. And temperatures tonight dip back down to the low teens and single digits. In the metro zone, south zone temperatures between 10 and 13 degrees when you wake up on Monday. President's Day morning, temperatures down to 7 to 9 degrees in our west zone. Same thing just north of M59 in our north zone. Here's a live look at downtown Detroit. 22 degrees right now. If you're still venturing out on this Valentine's Day, make sure you bundle up, but we'll have generally dry conditions. But take a look at my slippery snowy timeline for you. That does change after midnight tonight. Round one of snow, light to moderate snow, occurs overnight tonight and for uh, uh, tomorrow morning. Round two for tomorrow evening into Tuesday morning with heavier snow. It's 19 right now for our friends over in uh, Port Huron, 18 in Ann Arbor. Hello, Adrian. You've got 19 at this hour, so the cold air is locked in place. Take a look at the computer models. There's round one of snow arriving late tonight by midnight and afterward and for tomorrow morning with flurries and light snow. Then there's that heavier snow here in darker blue that races through the area as we go from late Monday afternoon through Monday night and Tuesday morning. In terms of total snowfall, it comes in two waves. First wave overnight tonight, it means one to three inches of snow by the end of tomorrow morning. But you tack on to that, as you can see here, not much change during the day on Monday, but look at how this quickly changes when that heavier snow moves in. Another three to seven inches possible, making grand totals six inches or more across the area as we go into the end of Tuesday morning. So we'll definitely need our snow shovels and our snow blowers as we go into Tuesday and as we try to recover late Tuesday and into Wednesday. So temperatures down to around 10 overnight with flurries and light snow after midnight. Heavier snow as temperatures move up to around 8, 17 or 19 degrees Monday and Tuesday. Monday into Tuesday, that's when we'll see our heaviest snow. Again, a combination of 1 to 3 inches plus 3 to 7 inches. And then things calm down a bit on Wednesday before another chance of snow possible Thursday.